Hi, I'm Lana Kelly and this is Hudson Valley Art Speak. Thanks for watching today. Um, today I'm going to be talking to Lisa Kelsey. Lisa is an art director and a photographer and she works in the city and uh, does a lot of photography on the train. Hi Lisa. Hi, thanks Hi. for having me. Well thanks for coming today. Um, I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about um, what an art director does. Okay, well I work at a magazine, and there's all different kinds of art directors, but since I work at a magazine, what I do is um, uh, hire uh, illustration and art to, um, to illustrate the articles that we run, so, uh -huh. and do the layouts. So basically, w what we get is a sheet of paper with the typewritten story on it, and I'm basically in charge of taking that and making it look like a magazine that you see mm -hmm. uh, from the newsstand. So. Yeah, so, so you, you do the layout for the different articles, so yeah, yeah and then does somebody else lay out advertising and Yeah, advertising is like not really connected to what I do uh -huh. very much. Uh, that's done in a different department. Yeah, yeah. So do you get to, um, you must meet a lot of artists and a lot of writers and interesting people doing that? Um, yeah, I, I, mostly artists because, I, you know, that's part of what I do is hire the mm -hmm. illustration and I'm pretty involved in the community where I have people come in and show their work and um, develop, try to develop uh, relationships with people so I can, you know, work well with them and hook them up with the stories that they're going to be connected to in some way right, that right. they'll enjoy do you, doing. Do you find that the job is changing with um, people doing more art digitally? Um, yeah, but I think that was that transition happened a long time ago. Really? Yeah. Like very, I think most people, all people really develop, d um, deliver their work in a digital format. Uh -huh. Some of them have a half and half situation where they do the sketch and then they scan it in, they color it, mm -hmm. but it's all uh, it all r arrives to me digitally. Yeah, you know. yeah. I, I, meant, I, I was thinking more of creating it digitally as, mm -hmm. as opposed to creating it, you know, wa doing a watercolor yeah. or something. Yeah, uh, also that I think has happened, that transition has uh -huh. happened quite a while ago. Yeah, I think most people just are working in a very digital format, yeah. Yeah. at least at some point in the process. So. Yeah. Interesting. So um, the train pictures. I love your train pictures. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I I, uh, I see them on Instagram, and I, uh, I I try to remember to like them all the time <laughs> because they're always interesting. And and um, thanks. How did you get started with that? Well, first of all, I would never call myself a photographer. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just take pictures with my phone, as my daughter always likes to point out. <laughs> it's just my phone that I'm taking yeah. pictures with. Um, so. I think of it more as a like a project that I do. That's like a social networking sort of project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just when I first got my uh, iPhone, I was just playing around with using it. And since I didn't really have anything to shoot inside the train, I just pointed it out the window and I w tried some different apps, you know, and just playing around with it. And mm -hmm. I kind of liked the idea. And I put it on Facebook, and people started to get interested in these pictures. And I'd heard of other people doing projects like taking a picture of the sky every day for a year yeah. or whatever. And I thought it might be an interesting experiment to do that with the mm -hmm. train window pictures. So I started taking one every day. Yeah. Well, you seem to do a variety of them, some with people, some with, uh, 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 I guess, the Great Swamp or the reservoirs mm -hmm. as, right. as the train is heading south. Yeah, it's a long commute. It's, yeah. it's an hour and 40 minutes. So uh -huh. I have a lot of moments <laughs> that I can capture. <laughs> so yeah, the only... The thing is, I either take them when the train is still, which is in the in the pla uh, in the stations. Yeah. And not very many of them are kind of photogenic, so just really, you know, mostly I'm taking the pictures when the train is moving. Yeah. So one of the yeah. things that I like that you do is um, in the stations where you uh, juxtapose a sign with a person. It might mm -hmm. be like the top half of a person is on the sign, and then the legs are right. real legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, I'm always looking for little humorous uh -huh. moments. So that's yeah. Kind of and funny. how about um, sometimes what I've seen you do is repeatedly take a picture of the same thing, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it ends up being in very different moods and, and um, different seasons. Yeah, every time I, you know, there are certain points along my commute that are just really photogenic, like the the ice pond shot with the with the hill, and I always yeah. feel like I'm kind of like Cezanne with his Mont Saint Victoire or Monet with his haystacks, where it's just an observation of this very simple mm -hmm. shape, 
and different seasons and different weather, you know, different times of day. Yeah, different lighting. And it just, allow, it just allows me to capture this moment on, in all these different aspects. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it makes it kind of fun to, to yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, one of the things I like is the rain on the windows when, when you're shooting through the, the wet windows. Yeah, that's kind of actually kind of hard to do with the phone because yeah. it's kind of hard to get that focus. Otherwise, yeah. I could just be looking at like a bunch of blurry spots. But right. I kind of have to like carefully focus it on the drops. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you're focusing on the window rather than the view beyond right. it. Yeah. yeah, and I do that sometimes when the window, sometimes the windows are like really scratched up and dirty or mm -hmm. something like that. So sometimes I'll do that for fun too. It's kind of a natural kind of grunge filter. Yeah, so. yeah, almost gives an abstract effect to yeah. it. Yeah. Some of the, the pictures that um, people will see on the screen are of the sky in New York City. And um, one of the interesting things I find about that is that um, you don't typically think of New York sky, you know, mm -hmm. with beautiful blue sky and clouds. Well, going across, going across the bridge gives me a good opportunity for that usually right before I get into the city. Mm -hmm. And um, also at Harlem, on the Harlem stop, it's just like a nice clear view with not, no yeah. big buildings. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just a matter of getting the right sort of window yeah. onto it. But yeah, the sky is a big subject for me too because mm -hmm. it's very changeable. Yeah. You know, sometimes the sky will look like amazing and I'll be, you know, trying to take a picture but there'll be trees in the way and buildings and I <sighs> keep trying to capture it and I might just miss it or Yeah. So it's yeah, it's kind of hard to capture that. On a given well. day, how many pictures are you taking on the way down? On the way down, I mean, I only really will publish like one yeah but um, I might take as many as like 30 or 40 pictures before I you know capture one that I mm -hmm. like or that's interesting in some way because a lot of them you know will look well this looks like something I did just a few days ago you know? right yeah so I'll skip that one and try to find a little bit of a different angle or mm -hmm. something happening in the picture yeah that, that catches but my eye you seem to have some favorite spots though yeah um, th Definitely. there's one of one of the reservoirs which which has um, you can see the wall and the wall has mm -hmm. a big curve in it yeah that's diverting reservoir yeah yeah it's right past ice pond uh-huh so the one good thing about using my phone camera is that I can find out what the locations are just by looking at my phone oh, because it'll right. show me where it is. That's yeah. how I know what all these places are called. But, yeah. But yeah, diverting reservoirs is, is very, you know, it changes a lot. You know, even even through the years because now they put up a rail that wasn't there before, mm -hmm. so it looks a little different. Yeah. And for a while there was a heron that was right at the point and. I would look for it every day. <laughs> one day it would be there, one, the next day it wouldn't. And I only have like a fraction of a section, second to, ca to capture that moment. Right. So sometimes I, can't, I don't even know what I'm taking a picture of until after I've passed and then I look at my phone and it's like, right, oh, because you was there. <laughs> yeah, because I'm yeah. moving and I, without my glasses, I can't see out the window. <laughs> so I'm just pointing my camera and taking pictures, or my right. phone rather. Right. Well, you're doing such a great job. <laughs> Thanks. Um, how about um, when you take pictures of people? Most of the people are when you're stopped, I assume, yeah. at the station. What do you yeah. look for? I'm just looking for, I try to make a composition based mm -hmm. on you know, a lot of times I'll be attracted to someone wearing something like a bright color when yeah. every, everything else is gloomy looking, like mm -hmm. on a rainy day, then uh, I'll, I'll take that. Or sometimes the shadows are really interesting. So I'll just look for a nice composition. And yeah, yeah. Do people ever notice you're taking a picture? Um, it's pretty rare. Yeah. Yeah. People are mostly looking at their phones. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're, especially on the platform, they're not yeah. really. Yeah. They're not looking at my phone, they're looking at their phone. <laughs> yeah, I saw a documentary on um, Bill Cunningham, who does the pictures, of the, the fashion shots for the New York Times, he does them on the street, and oh, yeah. um, he, he goes out and, and he, he, he looks like he's using, an, um, he's not using a digital camera or anything, and so he, he, he focuses. And, and, and they showed um, him taking a picture of two women, and the women were saying, don't you dare take a picture of me in this. <laughs> No, that hasn't happened to me. No. Yet, so. <laughs> well, let me know when it does. Yeah. It would be pretty funny, actually. I, I'm kind of waiting for somebody one day to say, "Hey, I know that person." You know, when yeah. I put the picture on. But, yeah. But that hasn't yeah. happened. <laughs> so, um, what else are you doing? Um, I understand you have a show on Polling Public Radio that you've done. Yeah, I've done that. Um, talk about cooking. That's another one of my 
big interest. Uh -huh. So it's called stirring the pot. So I, I've done that for a couple of years. And I also have a um, kind of a sound bite that I do about spices um, where I talk about one spice and mm -hmm. the history and where it comes from, how it's used, you know, in maybe different ways, like medicinally or yeah. for cooking or even ritualistically. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of your pictures of um, meals that you've made, oh. and I'm always very <laughs> impressed. That's another fun thing for yeah. me to do. Was I'm, I'm actually trying to collect all my recipes and have like an online cookbook. Uh huh. So I try to take pictures and so I can put them up too. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've had a show at the Front Street Gallery mm -hmm. with the photographs. Would you like to show them in other galleries, or what is? Do you have kind of an end goal for that? I'm not really sure about that. I mean, a lot of people have asked me if I'm going to do a book, or sometimes they say coffee table book, and mm -hmm. I think, well, if it's a coffee table book, it'll probably be like the smallest coffee table book in the <laughs> world because I would want to make them small. Yeah. Because uh, you know, this size is like, for me, kind of pushing it. This is like the max. Yeah. I, I kind of like them mm -hmm. small because that's kind of how yeah. I create them. So, I think that would be more of the goal mm -hmm. to come up with a little book or something yeah. rather than a, yeah. having another show. But yeah. Well, I like them in these kind of frames, the deepness, it, mm -hmm. it, it kind of evokes the windows of the yep. train. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So um, you have a background in art and um, you, did you always feel that you were going to go in that direction? Well, when I was really little, I wanted to work in a zoo. Uh -huh. and it was all about animals. And yeah. I liked marine biology a lot, mm -hmm. but um, my mom always told me, you're going to be an artist. Because, really? Because I was always drawing, you know. Yeah. So ironically now I don't draw at all <laughs> in my profession, but I hire other people to draw. But um, yeah, I think I've, since I was in high school, definitely mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to be a designer. Yeah. Specifically, yeah. 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 Um, we were at that walk with, that the Oblong Land Conservancy did into the... the um, quarry. Uh, I, I can't think of the name of it. The um, I just call it the quarry, but I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> uh, the the quarry, yeah, the quarry in Patterson, which which was so um, incredible. And um, when I saw the pictures that you had done with it, it I, I was just amazed that they were iPhone pictures and that you had gotten such um, such clarity and such definition in them. Yeah, well, the phones really. Very good on the iPhone. Yeah. I, mean the, I mean the camera. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and so you know, some of it is a little. I do edit them. Mm -hmm. I don't just put up the picture as is. Right. And definitely. Um, I have this uh, program called Snapseed that I use, and it has a lot of like standard filters, uh -huh. which I use sometimes. But I do. I go in there a lot and adjust and edit and you know, push things, pull things out, and yeah, you know, with contrast, and mm -hmm. I do a lot of mm -hmm. little things like that. Yeah. So yeah. they're not just raw. Not images. straight. Yeah. 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 Um, and what about? Um, I know that your family, your husband and your sons, are both musicians, mm -hmm. and um, I've seen some of the pictures of their shows and stuff. And um, I think I, I thought the iPhone is a little bit difficult to use in low light situations. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still take the pictures anyway, and they look kind of arty, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not really very good. And yeah, actually got a, a digital camera because I wanted to try using that to take pictures at these gigs, but I can't figure out how to use it. Oh. I'm so used to my iPhone, so yeah, yeah. I have to take some classes or something. You can always you put know. it on manual. Yeah, but then it, wouldn't it turn out just No, as automatic. As, yeah, automatic, or, automatic yeah. maybe. Well, I know a photographer, um, Lori Adams, who, who does um, classes and that sort of thing. Oh. She'd probably I'd be, be a really in. good one to talk to. Yeah. Our time is up. Okay. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you. It was you. great to talk to you and, and hear about what you're doing. Thanks.